It is beautiful out here. It is 72 degrees. The sun is out. It's a little cool. The humidity is very low. This is very unlike New Orleans. All that means is the summer is gonna be hot. Oh yeah. But right now, I have a little baby girl. One year old? Jeez, already. All right, let's get some fun. <laughs> your day I hope you're having a good day man it's beautiful out here you know the photography business as we know it is evolving very quickly it's changing it's adapting it's moving forward and I love change I've always loved change but when certain things affect your income it could be a little scary and I think that's a big reason why if you're starting a business to be to be afraid of the what ifs, that's the big, the big leap, that's the big jump for starting your own business. But if you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing, you gotta give it your 100%. You know what I mean? Even photography, you're, you're taking pictures of people and it seems like it's fun, but there's still a business aspect to this. Pricing yourself correctly, making sure you have liability insurance, making sure that you're advertising to some degree, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, a wedding magazine, a food magazine, whatever you're doing in photography, you need to stay in front of people. And you physically cannot get in front of everybody that you need, so you need to pay for marketing somehow to do so. So yeah, I know what it's like when you don't have the money to spend, but you have to spend some money. So do you take a loan or do you just save a little bit until you're ready to rock? I don't know, man. I think everybody's different. I saved. I know starting a business, hold on, I'm gonna get down here. Ugh. I know starting a business is very scary, but you know when you go to bed and all you think about is what can you do for your business? How can you market yourself? You can't wait to do what you love. I'm a pro photographer, okay? So photography is what I've been doing for the past 24 years and marketing, the style of marketing has absolutely changed. Used to be a little thing called the Yellow Pages. You youngsters don't know what the heck that is. But the bigger ad usually got the phone calls quicker than the little guy with the small print. Well, things have changed. Now, social media made it way easier to get in front of people, but that doesn't mean marketing got any better or easier or faster. The grind is kind of still the same. It's just a different way of doing it. Ask Costas. If you don't know who Costas is, man, he's my buddy that has a Greek restaurant. I'm going to put a link below for his channel. Uh, great guy, but he's showing you the behind the scenes of running a restaurant and what it takes. And if you pay attention in those vlogs, you can see the grind that he has to do every single day. And that's even being established. So there is no easy anything. <laughs> you got to love the grind. Yeah, you do. So if you're a photographer out there just starting out, let's see, what are the first three things you need to do when you start your business? Well, before you even open your business, you should create your logo. Think about your brand. Think about where you are in your career, what kind of work are you doing, what is your style. Everything from here on out with the business needs to look like you. So when somebody sees your logo, they have a reference according to what they're going to expect because they keep seeing the same kind of branding everywhere. That's step one. Step two, Uncle Sam wants your money. 
So go register yourself. I believe you can do it online now. It used to be go down to your uh, building downtown somewhere and file your business. They're going to give you a number. It's going to be a 72 dash number for your business. And then you have to register for your sales tax. And lo and behold, you're in business, man. That's all it takes. However, every dollar that you bring in, just pay attention to what little bit you have to put aside that goes to federal, state, and city. <laughs> so you did those things. Now you're ready for step three. Build your website. You're probably asking, why would I do that third? Shouldn't that be first? It's kind of like your website is your billboard everywhere. So if you're a business, you want to get that billboard out everywhere. So when people ask me if a website is still relevant or not, heck yeah it is. If you're just going to be on Instagram or a link like everybody else, what did I just say? You'll be like everybody else. You need to have a personal little home that you reside in as an artist. And you can set your own tone, your own themes, set your prices, not be afraid of mixing and mingling with the hashtag on Instagram or Twitter. Own you, man. Yeah, build that website. And you know in your heart, there could be a million photographers out there. There's only one you in town. So when people ask me, are you the best in New Orleans, I cringe when they ask me that because I don't believe in the best. I just don't. I think we all have moments of greatness. And as a pro, you learn over time how to pull that out for every single client. To me, that's what a pro is. Um, there's only one GK in town, and that's me. And that's why I created this YouTube channel, because it gives me a little more social media push than most people are not doing locally. That's right. Bonus tip. You want a bonus tip? All right, this will be number four, not mentioned anywhere else. So if you watch this long in the video, you get the number four. This is actually very important because it's something that I'm doing right now. Create a social media schedule for yourself. Meaning, you may be on three or four or five different platforms, but you know you can't juggle these things every single day. So make yourself a little calendar. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, okay? Tell yourself Monday and Wednesday is gonna be website, new client to add, do all the tags to get your searchability for your SEO. Tuesday, let it be a Facebook album. You know, Wednesday or Thursday, let it be your Instagram feed. Make sure you have an Instagram story. I know it's a lot that's going on this day and age, but it's completely manageable because I'm personally doing everything myself for my business. And I love, absolutely love the control that I have to honor my brand the way I want to. And that's what people see and know and love. Yeah. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you. I have a little one-year-old coming soon, so I need to go work. But I hope you enjoyed these three steps. <clears throat> the fourth for the bonus. And I'll see you on the next vlog. People starting to come out here. You know how they say if you uh, vlog in public, it's kind of weird? Yeah, it's a little awkward. But hey, stay focused on your dreams, because I did. That's what I mean by doing it. If I did it, you can do it. Passion does not kill your drive. Lack of a drive will kill your passion. I said that. <laughs> See you on the next video. Show me your soul. Baby, I'll show you mine. Show me your soul. Honey, it's way past time. How explicit do I have to be? Need I spell it out before you get it, baby? Show me your soul.